Hi, this is a quick recording to show you a feature I think you're going to be super interested in. Uh, we call this the background mode or self-service installer. So I'm going to start off. Uh, I have a chocolatey install here and I'm running under an administrator context. And so I'm just going to go choco install chocolatey agents. This is going to install my chocolatey agent service. And we're going to go get that um, you know, somewhere here on this box because I don't have it available yet. And uh, we're going to let that go ahead and install. And take a look at what we have here. Uh, we're going to let that run. What we're going to see is it's going to install this as a service. And uh, now that we have it installed, um, what we're going to do is we're actually going to take a look at our sources here. And uh, yeah, we definitely want to disable that chocolatey source. So Choco uh, source. Uh, disable the name chocolatey all right okay and so now if we take a look at choco source or choco let's just list our packages here so list local only uh, let's go for I'm sorry let's list from internal server right we should have uh, one package here or no packages Let's see what we got going on here so we can make sure we get that particular package set up. Uh, let's just jump right over here to our chocolatey server. We're going to drop a fun package here real quick. Uh, just so we can get one package up and going. All right. Grab this guy right here. Drop it in. Now we have, should have a package. And there we go. All right. So now, I've installed the agent, I've disabled uh, the chocolatey source, um, and I've set up my own internal server where I'm creating packages. Now, I'm going to go ahead and enable the background service. So we're going to say use background service. All right, so that's put chocolatey into background mode. I bet you're asking what does this mean? Uh, we'll see that in just a second. I got one more feature here to uh, fix up. So feature, we're going to disable show non-elevated warnings. Right? And so this will allow a non-administrator to use Chocolatey um, in a way. All right, so let's just jump over here to a non-administrator. We already should have logged on to the system here. All right, just to show you, this is a non-administrator. Let's just go download something. Now let's just go ahead and use Chrome here. Let's go try to download VLC here and uh, install it. It's thinking. Oh, there it goes. All right, so that's installed. There, there it is. And it's saying pick an administrator and give the password. So this is typical, right? When I don't have administrative access, I have to provide that. Now, coming over here to uh, Chocolatey. Now, Chocolatey has been configured for the background mode. We're using that background service. So uh, as a non-administrator, I can now Choco install, let's say, Adobe Reader. And Chocolatey is going to run in background mode, so you're seeing it as it's uh, as it's happening. So uh, it's reaching out to grab this particular package, and it's it's doing anything it needs now. Normally, uh, we would run package internalizer so that we wouldn't even have to download this from the internet. Um, I just wanted to show you how um, it does put the progress all in one line there for us, and that's pretty pretty handy. It does take it just a minute to download. <laughs> All right, so that completed, and uh, what you'll see is it actually does do the install. And again, this is a preview, so um, you are seeing some things here that uh, are going to get better. And of course, all we have at this point is the console. We don't have a um, a graphical interface uh, through the Chocolatey GUI to show you, uh, but most non-administrators will probably uh, run their installs that way. All right, so this has now installed um, Adobe Reader.
So now if I jump over here and I start looking for Adobe Reader, I can spell. Oh, I guess I should be looking for Reader. Right, there it is. There's our uh, Acrobat Reader that just got installed. What you see here is I am a non-administrator over here, and I was able to actually install software. All right, so one other thing that I want to do is uh, attempt to install from a non-approved source. So if I want to say Chaco install, uh, let's say I, I try to go get VLC, and I want to go out to uh, Chocolatey. API v2. Hmm. So I get this nice error message here that tells me that I can't install from custom source locations in background mode. So please remove that custom source and try again. Huh. So what if I try it a different way? What if I try it in my source? Pass that along. What do I get there? Oh. I still can't do it in background mode, so it's still not going to let me do that. So, uh, as an administrator, uh, what's really nice about this is all this stuff gets logged. So now if I pull up that administrator, should be installed here now. I'm going to do chuckle install, bear tail. to keep me from going into the background mode and of course that source was disabled so I actually need to tell it I'm going to uh, use chocolatey source and uh, of course it doesn't like that so let's give it the full source and there we go and uh, that should get that installed for me now, what we're going to look at here is uh, we want to see this particular package that we just installed because we want to see the logs. So we're going to head into the uh, chocolatey agent here, and uh, one of the things that we should have are some logs. Now, of course, um, what we'll notice here is uh, we got a couple of warnings, and it tells us not only uh, the, the name of the user that, that attempted to do this, but also uh, what commands they passed. So uh, we're getting this nice uh, ability to pull this, maybe uh, drop this into something like Splunk, I don't know, uh, but I'm able to actually see um, when uh, somebody's attempting to use a service in ways that they shouldn't be.